Time to play with some clay. All right, I've spent about an hour <laughs> just getting set up to start. Uh, I'm feeling better today. My daughter uh, is recovering from the operation, uh, getting ready to go into uh, physical therapy. And uh, so I feel like I can concentrate now, which I couldn't do the other day or yesterday. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is start the... Uh, head of crazy horse and the reason i'm making it from scratch instead of using the uh, foam head that's on the armature it's because um uh, i just uh want to <laughs> quite honestly and uh this uh head here which is off of my uh maquette which I got from anatomytools.com uh, has both the uh, the skull and uh, the muscles on the uh, skull. So that'll help me in constructing the face. And then over here on a board, I've got uh, all my pictures. I've got the drawing of Crazy Horse that was done in 1930-something, 30 35, 36. Um, a Mormon immigrant actually sat down with uh, uh, Crazy Horse's half-sister or sister. I've read both versions. And she described him to him. He's an artist. And uh, he drew her from that description. And when he was done, she cried and said, That's, her, that's him. That's my, that's my brother. That's Crazy Horse. Um... I'm not sure about the feathers. They kind of look like uh, a white man's version of eagle feathers, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, and then I've got uh, Little Hawk and Liam S. Hart, who is also uh, described as being uh, similar to Crazy Horse's features. And they are similar together and actually similar to this drawing. So I'm going to use all th three to, uh, you know, maybe get uh, what I need. All right, I'll come back when I get this thing going and because uh, a lot of this is on my instructional DVDs on how to sculpt. And so uh, I've got one uh, on sculpting a Viking bust and, uh, and several other, you know, like down the ridge line where I show how to <clears throat> do a face and all that stuff and I'm just not going to do that here and give it away for nothing all right be back after I get the skull started okay I got it started the uh the face is uh or the head is pretty well sketched in now they would have had a flattened back part of their skull because being in a uh cradle board uh, would have uh, deformed the uh, skull a little. Back in the 50s and 60s when I was a kid on Temple Square in Salt Lake, they had a museum that had the bodies of uh, uh, or mummies of uh, Native Americans that they had dug up or found uh, in southern Utah and uh, they all had that typical flat part of their skull on the back and uh, it was because of the cradle board those bodies have since been repatriated and uh, but anyway I've just been plotting out the uh, head I've got the uh, head measurement for this 24 inch figure pretty much where it's supposed to be. I'm probably going to have to add a little more to the chin, but I'm going to wait and let my uh, self 
determine that once I get to uh, into the face a little bit more because everybody's head is different and I'm just going to go by the drawings and the photos that I've got of uh, the different subjects that uh, supposedly look like him. And I use this flat board to just uh, help me shape evenly all the way across while the clay is soft. And I can shape it also with uh, a uh, wire tool as well. Alright, I'm going to come back when I got a little more. Uh, I'm not going to be able to spend much longer on this. I spent too much time getting everything set up for today. And it's been cold outside and snowing. 70 degrees yesterday and today it's down in the 30s. <laughs> That's Montana for you. Alright, be back in a few minutes. Bye-bye. I got these eyes that I got uh, off the internet. Um, and I've never been able to use them yet, and I'm still not going to be able to use them because obviously the eyeball is just a little bit big for this sculpture. It does tell me, though, that I can probably do one at, at a future date, but uh, I'm going to have to make the skull maybe a third bigger than what I've already, I'm have already doing right now. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to do something here I haven't done before. I'm going to take some of this monster clay, which I love because of it, how hard it gets, and make the eyeballs out of this. That way, when I work on the uh, eyelids around the eyeball, I won't uh, distort or, or ruin the uh, eyeball. That's too big. Much better. Perfect. Okay, that works out good. All right, I'll come back when I get further along. All right, I got the eyeballs in, but I'm going to let them cool and get harder so that I can adjust uh, their distance from each other and their depth in the uh, skull. And. Uh, Right now, all I'm doing is just uh, finishing up the skull a little bit on the upper part and putting in the uh, rest of the cheek bones. I'm going into great detail on the skull because it's a good learning practice for me. I always like to try to learn something every time I do something.
looks kind of funny with those eyeballs in. <laughs> This be the last of what I do today because I've run out of time. I spent too much time getting prepared to do what I'm doing. trying to do is get the each side of the face e evenly plotted out anyway I'll come back tomorrow and get back to well no I'm not going to come back tomorrow I don't work on Sunday <laughs> I'll uh Come back on Monday and we'll see what we can do. All right. Good night, everybody. See you next time. All right. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.